Hi there, I'm Mark Burnett, Chairperson for Design for a Difference. We're here in Spokane, Washington for the 2013 Design for a Difference Grand Prize Makeover. Local designer Leslie Ann Schifferns nominated the Community Room at Transitions Living Center and was selected to receive $20,000 in goods and services to complete the makeover. Along with Leslie Ann and myself, four regional winners will join us here in Spokane to be a part of the Design for a Difference team. Hello! Hey. hey! Good! Okay, clearly Good. you've all met. Yes. Yes. yes! Are we excited? Nervous? Excited! Oh, unilateral excited. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you ready to see what we're working with? Yeah. It was really sad. There was a big hodgepodge of furniture, and it just looked like everything was sort of a hand-me-down. Yeah, this is it. Welcome yeah. to the community room at Transitions. I chose Transitions because it's a charity for single moms and their kids who have been homeless. Design is about creating a home, a nurturing place, and that was the opportunity that I had here. So this is really the multi-purpose space for 16 families that live in this building. So it's a therapeutic place for mom, it needs to be a play place for the kids, a community room for all of the community of Spokane to come in and meet the women and see what we're doing here. I think it was really important for the designers to meet the participants because they're the clients. And at the end of the day, they're the ones who will inhabit the space. When I think about standing there talking to these women and their children, this is their source of hope. This is their source of stability. Some of them probably haven't had a stable environment or a stable community for years. The ladies here, I love them. They're all they're very brave individuals. And without them, I wouldn't you know, make it from my day-to-day -day basis. They want to be together and they've asked for that, and they're gonna get it. Thank you! Mary had a really long list of things that this room needed to be, so it was time to bring in the big guns. Our local IDG showroom winner, Gina Cook, from Gina's Design Center, was instrumental in managing the project. As a local International Design Guild member, we are so excited that we won this, and we are uniquely set up to be able to handle this project and do it well. So the first order of business in the design was to delineate the space. We needed an adult space as well as a kid space. So basically we just split the room in half. The plan is to paint the walls, install new flooring, and place new furniture throughout the room. The rest of the design is in the hands of the designers. We all have our individual projects, so we're all just pitching in wherever we need to to make it all happen, because we have a deadline. Right now, if you looked around the room, it's like organized chaos. That's not going to work. Okay. Everybody is so focused on what's in front of them and they're not really even seeing the big picture. Because the big picture right now is something magical is about to happen. I've come up with this really neat project to add to the room and we're going to do some sand art. I have no clue how I'm going to do this. If I mess up, there's no going back. It was great being in the room with all the designers. Different experiences. We're all bringing different values to the table. So the, these are the key values to transitions and they reference these in all of their meetings. And each of the sayings starts with, we believe. So I'll do the title and then we believe, dot, 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 and then each of the values across here. I think by leaving my mark in my handwriting, but with their words, is invaluable to me. We are making cornice boards for the window. A cornice board is like a balance that goes across the top, finishes off a window, makes it look beautiful. This is going to be the kids' computer station, so there's going to be two iPads set up, a desktop, they're going to be able to get their homework done, play some educational games, we're going to use these awesome cork tiles, create a little bit of an art installation so the kids can really feel like this is their section. It's the end of day one and people are exhausted. But they're looking at me like, why am I so exhausted? I'm like, oh, well, because we did a ton of work. And out of nowhere come these little kids who live here with homemade cookies. That was so sweet. This is what happens when little kids bring us cookies, right? All right. Nice. We designed the rug challenge for designers to convey their true aesthetic, also to reveal their competitive spirit there are two pieces missing from the design, and that is two area rugs. So we're gonna give you five minutes. You got it? Okay. Good to go? Okay. The From clock the start ahead of time, time starts to now. I loved having them in my showroom and using it the way it's meant to be. The energy and the vivaciousness of it was amazing. 
Let us see your rug first, and then we'll give you the opportunity to be swayed. It was kind of fun to go up against other professionals who think they know better. If you guys don't start talking about this, you guys are missing an opportunity. I love this one for a variety of reasons. Designers are competitive. Okay, so in the end, we chose these two. One for the more neutral side of the room and one for the more floral side of the room. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. I had to step away from all the action and surprise Jennifer Bertrand, who flew all the way in from Kansas City. She's my secret weapon. She's doing a very cool art installation. So I have all the messages from alumni who have graduated from Transitions, and I'm gonna get the designers to write them on the wall, and it'll be like the best warm fuzzy. I'm gonna pick this one that says, each day is alive with new possibilities for you because I love the, the part of a new start, a new day, a new hour, a new new. Look at the hair on my arms. It's, it's, it's really an amazing journey and tomorrow's the big day and I know it'll be amazing. At least it's been for us. Now we just get to hand it off. Okay, we've managed to keep the participants out for 48 hours and I know they're beating at the door because they're right outside. All right, you guys, come on in. It was such a complete transformation. And then it went to overwhelming joy that we accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. And then it starts to sink in, oh my God, this is real. It was very, very overwhelming to see the reaction and how genuinely happy and appreciative they were of all the work that we had put in. This means a lot to me. And each woman that's here, we'll be able to leave something positive for it to grow bigger. We might have to have you guys come back in a few years and add some more to it. I thought this would be functional but not beautiful. What what you did, you did both. You're talking to designers. Right? I know. They will know that someone cared about them beyond the people on the board. This is a national thing. And the fact that we're just local, but it'll have an effect. They can see, yes, this can be done. And great beauty comes of it. Thank you. I feel real special. I never thought anything like this would happen to someone in Spokane, let alone me. So, um, thank you. Baby, you are special. <laughs> you are. Thank you so much for letting us do this with you. Because I'm a mom, and I'll try not to cry, but you know, if your family's not right, you're not right. And when your family's in a good place, it doesn't matter what happens beyond that. Design for a Difference is about building community. It's about taking the showroom owner, the designer, and the charity, and working together to build a better community and a better world. I don't think I can go back the same person. It's something you keep in your heart for a really long time, and I will. This has been so touching to me, the hugs, the excitement, the hellos. They know we're here to help them and it's, they appreciate it, you can see it. I am so glad, so privileged to be able to do this for our community. I would not trade it for anything in the world. What we saw here this weekend was just a sampling of what's out there. We have a lot of charities in need and we have a lot of designers willing to give. So Design for a Difference is just about connecting the two. The entire weekend was chock full of work and fun. So we had really long, intense days. I'm looking around and everybody is kind of taking matters into their own hands. I want you to know I had a perfect schedule. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we also wanted them to have fun. I mean, they won a contest. Get ready. Ah! <laughs>